crimson, they shall be as wool, though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Hear the voice that entreats you, O return ye on to God. Hear the voice that entreats you, O return ye on to God. He is of great compassion and of wondrous love hear the voice that entreats you hear the voice that entreats you or return ye unto god O oh, return ye on to God. He'll forgive your transgressions and remember them no more. He'll forgive your transgressions and remember them no more. Look unto me, ye people, saith the Lord, your God. He'll forgive your transgressions. He'll forgive your transgressions and remember them no more and remember them no more though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as white. Though your sins be a scarlet, though your sins be a scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord God. Though your sins be as scarlet, they can be white as snow. God can take all that away. Father, we thank you for bringing us together, Father, in prayer to commit ourselves, our family, our ministry, Father, the month and every circumstance uh, to you this particular month of June. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that what is coming of our heart, Father God, will please you. What will come out of our mouths will please you. Father, things we do with our hands will please you. Our feet will please you. Our mind, our heart, our character, everything will please you in the name of Jesus. Father, according to the songwriter, you will forgive our transgressions and remember them no more. You will forgive all our transgressions and remember them no more. Help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We open in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit, the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit divine. Hallelujah. Amen. We are virtuous women in Christ. We are here to commit the month 
to the Lord. We commit every day, even our very breath to God, every single day. We commit the month, we commit the day, we commit the second, we commit everything, our family to God. It's something we do whether we are sleeping or awake in our dream life every single time. It's our way of life. It's not only on Zoom. It's all the time that God Almighty be praised forever. And the Lord, may the Lord help us to live lives that are pleasing to him all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me sing um, another song. And then I'd like to read um, one of the Psalms of praise to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Let us read Psalms 99 and one Psalms 100. Psalms 99 and then Psalms 100. In Jesus' name, we're reading the King James Version. Hallelujah. The word of God says, the Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name for it is holy. Hallelujah. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executeth judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship at his footstool for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spake unto them in a cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answerest them, O Lord our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Hallelujah. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Praise ye the Lord. We give God the praise and the thanks. Hallelujah. Let us go before the throne of grace and ask for mercy. Mm. Uh, and let's ask God to forgive us of things we have committed against him, against others, against our very souls. Let us ask God, forgive us, even forgive the body of Christ. Prayers in Jesus' name. Oh, heaven and Father, God. I ask for mercy, against the Lord Father of the God, of this, for myself, as I come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, things I have done, overlooked, minimized, things that you are not happy with, Lord, remember me, remember us, remember my husband and children, remember our family members, Father, remember the ministry, the church of many Christ, the body of Christ at large, but I remember each and every one of us, little things that we have done, great things in our eyes, however they seem, still is 
mercy. Show us mercy, Father God. Show us mercy, my Father. Wash us in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Father, the waters come into your presence with thanksgiving. Father, we don't want to blow smoke in your face. We want to come before you, Father God. And really, I'm sorry for the things we have done. And the, the sorriness we are doing, we are saying. Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus, my Father. And I show us mercy in the name of Jesus, my Father. Help us to come with your family to come with your family. Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus, my Father. Not pleasing in you, Lord. Not them out of our lives. Oh, my Father. Oh, Lord, my God. Wash us from the crown of our heads. Wash us from the spirit, soul, and body. But in every way, we have underestimated and overlooked any sin in our lives. Oh, Lord, open the eyes of our understanding to repent the proper way that would please you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you should mark iniquity, who shall stand? If you should mark iniquity, Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared by the God in the name of Jesus. Each and every one of us, my sister here, those who are online, but I don't want to hear it later. Forgive, have mercy, purify. Father, any secret sin no one knows about, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, bring it out. Even those are hidden so deep, our conscience would not even tell us anything. Lord, bring it out. Forgive us. We appeal for mercy. We do not know if this is the very calling hour of the rapture. Father, we ask you to have mercy on us. In every way, any way, we are double-minded. Any way, Father God, we have done sin against you, against you, against somebody, against our very soul. Father, remember us. Have mercy and wash us clean. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' precious name. We are going to ask the Holy Spirit divine to lead us because it is the Holy Spirit divine that is guiding us into prayer, not ourselves. If we go in for our own compass, we may go wrong and not the way we, that you know God wants. So let's ask the Holy Spirit, come in right now and navigate our prayer life in Jesus' name. Prayers. Amen. Holy Spirit, Your divine Father, spirit of truth. You, Lord, we ask you, Father God, God we you thank you that you have given to Jesus, us Father, your Holy Father. Spirit. What a Amen. powerful Jesus, gift. Help us to Lord, know the value. We Help can us to appreciate it. Holy Father. Spirit, come in. in Take first place in our lives, in our action, our decision making, Lord. everything that we are Lord. doing. Lord. Holy Spirit, divine. Come in, take first place. Any, anything, decision we are making in our lives, whether it's for food, whether it's for flesh, whether what is, is for spiritual life, Holy Spirit, Spirit of truth, lead us into the way of God. Correct us when we need correction. Every time, rebuke us when we need rebukes. Any way that would please God. Holy Spirit divine, come in. Take first place. Open the eyes of our understanding for us to know how to pray to please God in every way that God will be happy with our, our, our walk in this life. Holy Spirit divine, we appreciate you. Help us not to grieve you at any time. Help us not to, to, to do the things that are not pleasing to you. Help us to listen to you open. And Holy Spirit divine, lead us into that way. Groan for us with groaning that cannot even be uttered. Groan for us in a way, but we don't even know how to groan for us with groanings that cannot be uttered in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We depend on you a hundred percent, even a thousand percent, even. We depend on you for everything, not of ourselves. We decrease, you increase in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us plead the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. Do your sins be as scarlet, they can be as white as snow. Let us plead the blood of Jesus, even over our homes, in the air, the land, the sea, all, even water, the blood of Jesus cannot be polluted, cannot be diluted. Let us pray. Right now, and plead, Father, the we plead the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Father, we, we thank you for showing us the power in the blood of Jesus and how for us to utilize and execute the power that's in the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus, Father, over the air, the land, the sea, in the whole neighborhood, our city, state, our country, Father, our spirit, soul, and body, Father, my husband, my children, Father God, my family, relatives, in laws, neighbors, Father, the ministry, the body of Christ. I plead the 
the blood of Jesus. Father, the godly children, I plead the blood of Jesus. Father, all your, your children, your church, worldwide, I plead the blood of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. Wash us. All sins be as scarlet. All sins be as scarlet. They shall be as white as snow when you are purified each and every one of us. Because we present the blood of God in every way. Blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. Let the enemy be put on notice. Anywhere the blood is, the enemy is not. Anywhere the power of the blood of Jesus is, the enemy is not. Plead the blood of Jesus. Over our dreams, our waking moments, our decision. I plead the blood of Jesus. Father God, over prayer life, our hearts, our intent, the contents, our motive. Plead the blood of Jesus. Wash us, purify us. Take away this dross from the silver. Take away this dross from our life. Make us presentable. Father, to heaven. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice of your precious blood. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are right now, we are going to uh, pray and put on the armor of God. We need to be fortified. Believe it or not, the armor of God is truth. Last night, my husband asked me a question. We were about to take communion. And I remember he asked me a question. Brother, what did you have planted in that thing? I said, well, herbs and so forth. And all of a sudden, I said, no, beet is not an herb. I remember, I said, forgive me. They were not beets. There are a few beets in there. The Holy Spirit brought it to my attention for me to repent. You see, truth, the spirit of truth is a protection. Let us pray in the name of Jesus and put on the armor of God. But we can turn to Ephesians 6. For those who are not familiar, Ephesians chapter 6, hallelujah, to the glory of God. It is wise to read the word of God. You may say, I don't know. I don't understand the King James Version. My dear, stick with it. Many people don't know what they are doing in hell, but they are stuck there. Hmm? It is rather you are stuck with the word of God. Okay? Ephesians chapter 6. Let us gladly read it. Um, part of it, that is. And we are going to read from uh, verse 11, we are reading Jesus' name. The word of God instructs us to, as 11, put on the whole armor of God. You see, not part of it. That he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Tricks. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, not people, but against principalities, powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, in high places. You cannot top that. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Hallelujah. And having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the, supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. So this is the litany, the lists that we are to gird ourselves with as the, with the armor of God. And we should be very thankful that God have enabled us to um, wear his armor. Wow, power in the blood of Jesus, Power in the armor of God. Let us right now put on the armor of God in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, I want to thank you personally. We want to thank you, Father, for allowing us to wear your armor. In the mighty name of Jesus, because we are not fighting against things that we can't see. We are not fighting against things we can't see. Personalities or creatures we know, but we are fighting against things we cannot see. 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 Spiritual wickedness in high places. Father God, we put on your armor. Help us to be always truthful in our minds, in our dreams, in our waking moments with others, in our decision, our, our motive. Help us to be always truthful. Help us to put on the breastplate of righteousness and our feet always shot with the preparation of gospel of peace. Father God, and, and take the shield of faith 
where we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts and follow the helmet of salvation, which is the sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Father, always help us to God to stand in that truth, the truth of the living God on your word. Put you elevate your word above all else. Father, any where we are going, navigate us away from any path that's not the narrow path. Now, Father, put us right back, right back on the narrow path in the name of Jesus. And help us, oh God, that our mind, our heart will be focused, dressed in the armor of light, and we'll be able to walk, Father God, with the children of light in the on the narrow walk, no matter what it what it feels like. Father, you are able to keep us from falling. You are able to protect us. Anyway, our armor is compromised. Anyway, our armor is missing uh, 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 any uh, um, function, Father God. Uh, repair it and help us to be complete in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear oh, the deepest cry of our heart, even the words we cannot even utter with our mouths, and it's deeper than what we can even say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And help us to be clothed with your armor in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are also going to pray. Um, Isaiah 54, 15 is a, some, is a text of scripture. We use Isaiah 54, 15. For those who are not familiar, um, Isaiah is in the Old Testament and we are reading the King James Version. Um, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Isaiah. That is just uh, just of the Psalms. Isaiah 54, verse 15. And it, the word of God reads, and we are glad. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. The Lord is saying this. Whosoever shall gather against thee shall fall for thy sake. So wherever the enemy of our souls are mobilized for evil, we are committing this month and beyond. We are committing this day and beyond, this very minute and beyond into the able hands of our Lord. So we are praying wherever the enemy is right now gathered for evil against us, unbeknownst to us, against our family, against the work of God. Right now, we are saying in the name of Jesus that they will fall for our sakes prayers as the Lord would lead you. Oh Lord, my Amen. heavenly Father, the King of Father kings, God, Lord, we thank you Father, for your word that you have alerted us to know. And Behold, the enemy will gather, but not it is not of you. And whosoever or whatsoever shall gather against us, shall fall mightily, shall fall for, for our sins, because the power of your hand is upon us in Jesus' name. Father God, wherever they have gathered to in their cold in, um, in, in the mountains, in holes, in dens, wherever they have gathered for him, as a different characteristics and characters of witches, warlocks, and etc. things we have not even known about. Father God, overturn their plans, to confusion, let their way be dark and slippery, overturn their wicked inventions. Father, let it, whatever they have sown into the, the moon and the stars and the sun, let it not come to pass against your church, your children, the body of Christ, overturn their plans, their wicked way, in the name of Jesus. Father God, shut up all their satellites that they have in the name of Jesus that they have used against your church, your children, Father, for them to convey their weak, weak, um, um, weak uh, inventions, Father God, against your church, Father, cut it asunder by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, o Lord. We thank you for standing by our sides, for being the Prince of Peace in our lives, and for alerting us that the enemy, wherever they are gathered. They will definitely gather, that's for sure. But it is of none of you. It is not of you. And they shall fall. Certainly fall. Father God, let their way be full of confusion and scatter. And let their destination be hellfire. Bound there until the lake of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. And I put them to shame. Jesus, mighty and precious name. Pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. I want us to turn to Psalms 119. I ask the Holy Spirit divine to lead me, hallelujah, mm -hmm. to lead and guide me and lead and guide us in our prayers today, hallelujah. 
the word of God tells us, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. We are going to pray that, and we are going to, because undefiled here, blameless. Father, make me blameless this month and beyond. Make my family blameless and beyond every month. Make my, or your church blameless. Help us, those are that on the narrow way, help us Father, to be undefiled, to be blameless prayers in Jesus. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, Father the God, in the mighty the name of Jesus. Jesus Father, this to month be and beyond, God, Father, we're asking you to be that you allow us, help to us to walk blameless, to walk undefiled in on the narrow way, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, your church, the body of Christ, our, our spouses, our children, but our family, the body of Christ, Father, we are asking you, oh God, we are imploring that you keep us on defiled this month and beyond this very minute and beyond this very day and beyond Father, the month of june 2021 and beyond keep us blameless spotless father in every way in the name of jesus keep our minds our thinking spotless father god our tongues spotless our hearts spotless and undefiled our hands undefiled our feet undefiled for the glory of god Father, this month and beyond, Holy Spirit, I give you glory. Thank you, God, I give you glory. Jesus, I give you glory. Help us, Father, to keep our garments clean, spotless, without spot, without stain, without wrinkle, this month and beyond. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And verse 2, it says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and seek him with the whole heart. Let us ask God this month and beyond, this second, this minute, this day and beyond, our family, our house, the body of Christ, God will keep us. And that we will seek God with our whole heart, not halfway, whole heart, completely. Prayers as the Lord will oh, lead heaven us. And Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your holy word. Oh, there is a blessing for us to keep your testimony. And for us to seek you, you to seek with our every day of our lives. Father, we thank you for your word. 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 Oh, Father, our prayer altar, Father, to be anointed just to seek your face diligently and seek your way and do it diligently. Help us to seek you with our whole heart. Father God, in any way that our flesh wants to take a resident, Father God, to do a permanent damage to our narrow world, Father God, put that flesh back in place. And, and keep our hearts perfect before you. Father, Father, only know you that know that what is what perfection is. Only you that know what wholeheartedness is. Father, only you. So we ask you, Father, help us to seek you every day of our lives with our whole heart. Our children to love you and to seek you with their whole heart. Our spouses, Father, to love you and to seek you to seek you with whole heart. Because you deserve the glory and you deserve the praise. Do it in Jesus, Jesus name. Father, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. The word of God tells us they also do no iniquity. That's one of the ways that Balaam and Balak, they had joined to, it forces to people in the Bible, a king and, and, and so-called man of God. They are joined to make the children of God sin by making them do iniquity. So we are going to pray, Father, keep iniquity from my eyes, from my heart from this ministry, from my home. Keep iniquity from my hands, my feet. Anywhere iniquity is, let me not be. Let us not be. 
press as the Father God, the King of Kings, the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, keep us away from iniquity. Wherever iniquity is, keep my husband away from me. Keep my children away from me. Keep me away from it. Keep the body of Christ. Father God, my mother's house, my father's house. Father God, in the name of Jesus, keep us away from iniquity. Father God, because the word of God tells us they do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Help us to walk in your ways. And do, in your ways. And do no iniquity. Those things that are of irritant, abomination to you. Father, help us to be allergic to it. Help us to hate it. Help us to hate it with a passion and the things you love. To love it with a passion in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to do no iniquity. But not even in our dreams. Not our waking moments. Father, this month and beyond. This day and beyond. This very second and beyond. Help us not to do any iniquity or involve ourselves with any form. Help us, oh God, to walk in your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We thank God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The word of God tells us, thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. God have, 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 have asked us when he commands us and we are listening, children of light, and things work for our good. It works for our good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Help me to follow your precepts. Help me to follow your commandment diligently every single day of my life, this month and beyond, prayers as the Lord will lead oh, us. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, Father in the name God, of Jesus, my Father, give me the grace to keep your commandments in the name help of Jesus, me my Father. As you have oh, Lord, commanded Father, us oh, Lord, to keep your precepts, Father, Father, to keep, keep those things that you want us to do, Father God, let us do it diligently, not sometimes and no time, Father, help us to follow righteousness all the days of our lives, follow holiness, all the days of our lives, live in peace with others, all the days of our lives, this month and beyond, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, every single day, teach us to keep your precepts, Father. Let us never get tired of this. Let it be a joy to our hearts. Help us to celebrate just to do the things that pleases you, ah, Father God. Father, that, oh, that as you have commanded, we will do it with joy. Hallelujah. Keep your precepts diligently, happily celebrating that which you have commanded. In the name so that will make us your children, children of light, all the days of our life. Lord, help anywhere Father, we are help us also to keep your commandments, help us, Lord, the commandments help us, you have given to us, Almighty God. Help us, Almighty God, to keep us those commandments. Diligently. Father, you are the only place, the, 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 the being that can measure and says, we have reached this, we have failed. Rebuke us if you have to. Rebuke us. Keep us on the narrow way. Keep us in your way. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Almighty God. Father, help us to keep your commandments. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Amen. Five tells us, and I thought about it, all oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Wow, all my ways. Can you imagine? I thought about it. All oh, that my ways were directed, all my energy, whatever, my, my decision, everything I want to do is just to please God. All oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Ah, we are going to pray and ask the Lord, Father, this month and beyond, this month and beyond, help our, our family, our prayer altar, help our mind, our eyes, our spirit, soul, and body to be directed to keep the God's statue. Everything, his word, this the Father, this month and beyond, help me and help my, those ways about me, my personality. Be directed to keep your statutes. Prayers in Jesus' name. Father, oh, in the mighty name of Father, Jesus. King of Kings, Lord How of sweet it is Father. to read your word. Me, oh all King that all our statutes, ways Lord. are directed, oh, Father, Lord. to keep, oh, keep your statutes. Father, to keep your way and your statutes. Father, it, 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 it could be Father, like breathing. Easy like breathing. Jesus Father oh, Lord, God, that our way, even more, more than breathing, our ways were directed to keep your statutes. God, to keep your statutes. Father, how sweet it is. How sweet it would be. Father, we ask you this month. 
God, all my ways, all, all our ways, all my ways, we just direct it to say, Ah, Father, I reject sin on every hand, and I'm just directing it. Keep your faith in me, Father. Keep your faith in me, Father. My Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, Father, my Lord. Obey your Lord. Do do. Do not be errors only, my Lord. And do us. Direct me, Lord. Direct me, Father. Bless your name. You are mighty. You are great. You are excellent, God. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, my Savior. Thank you, Father. Empower us to do this. Empower us to keep your statutes all the days of our life. Empower our children when they are out from our sight that they will do what is right. Empower our husbands, Father, to do what is right. Keep your statutes to have respect and reverence and fear and know for you to do that, those things that pleases you. If you sin, terrible. We can do what is right. Father, let our ways direct you. Jesus, help us, Lord. Lord. Jesus, help us, Lord. Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us. Jesus mighty you. and precious name. Amen. Amen. I want us to turn to Galatians um, chapter 5. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5. Um, um, we are reading from 22, the fruit of the spirit. We have just prayed that we want our ways to be directed to keep the statutes. We are also going to pray that this month and beyond, this month of June, that God would empower us with a double portion of the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. I read. But the fruit of the spirit is, I read in Jesus' name, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. My Lord, against such there is no law. We are going to pray and ask God to embody us, empower us, with the fruit of the spirit, double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayers as the Lord would lead you. Oh, heavenly Father, and the King, I pray to you this Lord month Jesus and beyond Father, that you empower Jesus, us. Father, Father God, you cover us, you fill us, Father, with the fruit of the spirit. Double portion, double portion in the name of Jesus. Father, with love, with joy, with peace, with long suffering, with gentleness, with goodness, with faith, with meekness, with temperance, balance in everything. Father God, give us a double portion, oh Lord, this month and, and beyond, of the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to know the value of the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to walk in holiness and righteousness, Father, to please you, Father, in that, in that love that you have for us, Father, in joy, in peace, in long-suffering, but in everything that you have given to us, complete. Father, help us to be meek. Help us to be balanced to God. Not too much over this edge, not too much over that edge. Just right, Father God, in every way. And against such characteristics, there are no law. Father, we bless you and we give you praise. For you are God, and God alone. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Father, don't let us miss one of them. Amen. We are going back to um, Psalms chapter 119. Psalm 119, um, we're going up um, six and I'm sorry there. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, we are, are reading. And it, it, the word of God says, Then shall I not be ashamed when I shall have respect unto all thy commandments. And, it, and seven says, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgment. So one with the fruit of the spirit, let us pray um, um, to God and tell him, Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to have respect unto all your commandments. 
Help me to have a father, the king of kings, the Lord of all your commandments. Father, man, I know that you to have represented like a simple thing. But when I respect you, I honor you. When I respect you, I live a holy life. When I respect you, I honor others. When I respect you, I love. When I respect you, I have the food of the spirit in me. Father, when I honor you, I honor others. When I respect you, I honor others. When I respect you, I have the food of the spirit in me. Father, when I honor you, Father, help me this morning, oh God, and beyond each and every one of us, my husband, my children, Father God, my mother, my mother's house, father's house, Father, this ministry, each and every one of us in the ministry of our children, the God, the children, Father, each and every one of us, this month and beyond, Father God, that we would have respect unto all your, your commandments, all what you have given to us, instructions, Father, to walk this journey and to walk it in holiness. We will have respect unto all your commandments in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise Therefore, and adoration. I bless your holy name in, your in Jesus' name. mighty and precious name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Touch me one more time, dear Lord. Touch me one more time, I pray. Touch me one more time, dear Lord. I am ready to obey. Oh, touch me one more time, dear Lord. Oh, touch me one more time, I pray. Oh, touch me one more time, dear Lord. I am ready to obey hallelujah the word of god tells us in psalms in psalms 119 verse 11 it says thy word have i hid in my heart that i might not sin against thee why do we talk about this when we have the word of god into our hearts day by day we keep our or hands from committing things that are doesn't please God. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray, Father, hide your word in my heart. Hide it, Father, your word in my heart. That when I open my mouth, the first thing that will come out, instead of my flesh, your word will come out. Hide your word in my heart. Praise in Jesus' name. Father God, this month and beyond, into this ministry, but just women and in Christ, Father, and all our families, hide your word in our hearts. Hide your word in, in our hearts. But that will be the first thing that come out of our mouths. But before we think of anything, to say of anything that, that doesn't please you, but that, that would come out from our mouths, the things that are pleasing to you. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Your word is life and power that I will not sin against you, my God. I will not sin against my soul. I will not sin against the body of Christ. I will not sin against you, Father. I will not sin against God. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Help us to hide it there and keep it there. That as, as a protection, that we will not sin against you in any way, shape, or form. Father, we bless you. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Your word, but I have taken close to my heart that I will not sin against you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. We bless God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I also want us to pray Micah chapter 6, verse 1. If we praise the Lord, he's able. He's able, he's more than able. God is able to deliver me. Oh, God is able, he's able, he's more than able. God is able to deliver me. What man of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What man of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Micah chapter 6, from verse 1. Hear ye now what the Lord said. Arise, contend thou before the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, and ye strong foundation of the earth, for the Lord have a controversy with his people, and he will plead for 
Israel. We are going to pray and ask God because it is twofold there. We are going to ask God to arise and contend with our enemies. Contend with those enemies that look like mountains, those enemies that stand up, um, those, those enemies that stand before us. We are going to ask God, Father here, and arise and contend, Father God, against those that seem that are too strong for us and plead our cause, prayers in Jesus' name. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, King of Kings, Father God, God arise and, arise Father. and contend, and Father, so Father, with those mountains. Against me, Lord. Father God, in, in our personal life, life or private life, Father, the ministry, the body of Christ, oh God, arise and contend, Father God, with those things. Father, plead our cause, plead the cause of our, of the ministry, Father God, and, and your church, Father, to win souls, plead our cause, plead our cause. In the name of Jesus, anywhere the enemy, Father God, I've got an any stronghold. Plead our cause, arise, contend with those things we can see, mountain seen or unseen. Plead our cause, O Lord, contend thou before the mountains in the name of Jesus. Father, let them hear your voice and let them rumble in the name of Jesus. Let them hear your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The body of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word of God tells us in um, 8, um, Micah 6 verse 8, he have showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doth the Lord require of thee? It's right to know, it's good for us to know um, what to do. He says, ye have showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before thy God. We are praying this month and beyond, our family, our children will not walk in pride, our spouse not walk in pride, we, we will not walk in pride, the body of Christ not walk in pride, we'll walk humbly, God will show us great and mighty things. Prayers as the Lord would lead us. Hallelujah. Hello, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your instruction. You have showed us, O oh man, what is good. And what is good, Father, in your eyes, is for us to do justly, for us to love mercy, and for us to walk humbly before you. Father, in any way, Father, we have been unjust. Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God. Help us to love mercy, the same mercy we want for others, and the same mercy we want for ourselves. Help us give it to others. The same mercy for our spouse, our children, help us to give it to others. But at the same way, Father, we want to walk humbly before you. Let us pray for others to walk humbly before you also. Father God, that is good. He have showed your man what is good. And that is good. Father, and that's what you are requiring of us for us to do what is right and plead with you and to walk humbly before you in every way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name for you are good and your mercy endures forever and ever in Jesus mighty and precious name Amen. I want us to also to pray um first John 3 9 you know sometimes the word of God first John chapter 3 9 it says whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin for his seed, God's seed, remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he's born of God. No, you see the enemy cannot touch a such a such a soul. We are going to pray Father this month and beyond. Father help us to be in the position for us not to commit sin. Enough work with God. And he was not for God took him. So we have a human example. We cannot say Jesus. We have a human example. As Enoch walked with God, help us to, Father God, walk with God, walk with you like this, and not sin. Prayers as the Lord would lead us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, the word of God tells us, whosoever is born of God, does not commit sin. Let that thing rain in my heart, in my head, in my mind, in my soul, in my spirit. Father, that I will not sin against you. Let your seed remain in me, that I cannot sin, I will not sin. Only, Father, in the name of Jesus, on this narrow road, no sin will enter heaven. Let me remember that. Father, help me always to remember that. 
to remember, Father, that no sin will enter heaven. And he that is born of God cannot commit sin because it, the, the, the seed is, is in him. Father, let that seed be in me. Plant your seed in us in this ministry. Let this month be like a clean slate, a new slate of God in the name of Jesus. Because the enemy can't get any foothold when they're not seen. There is, without any cause, the enemy cannot put a curse. A curse cannot stand without the cause. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us not to give the enemy any foothold on us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, by committing sin in our lives. Father, help us to swipe that slate clean in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us the grace. Father, in every way, Father, we are not on our, of God as we should. Father, you will know the measurement. Father, bestow it on us, oh God, that we will be born of God and we will not commit sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. And we thank you in Jesus' name. The word of God is clear. It says, who's born of God does not commit sin. You don't have any taste. You, you hate it. You don't want to commit sin. No sin. Any sin. You, 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 are, you get allergic to it. May God help us to be allergic to all those things. That doesn't please God. To hate it. And love what God loves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are also going to pray. Um, um, 22, the Bible tells us, and whatsoever, um, that is first John three verse 22. And it says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment. You see how we are so sweet and do the, those things that are pleasing in his sight. Not in man's sight, that is good too. But when we do the things, so we are going to pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. The first thing, let me do those things that are pleasing in your sight. Prayers in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, help me to do the things. Help us, my sister, the virtuous woman in Christ, my husband, Father, my children, not to do things in front of me. Father, help them to do the things that are pleasing to you. Let my children please you, to give them the heart to please you, to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. Father, give me that heart every time, this month and beyond, to do the things that are pleasing to you every day of my life. In the name of Jesus, my husband will look forward and say, ah, I must do this to please my God. I must do this to please my God. Every single day, how can I please my God? Good morning, good afternoon. Good night. Father, how can I please you? Help us, God, to do those things that are pleasing to you. Father, as Enoch walked with you, Enoch and many of the disciples, Aaron, your priest, Moses, Father, all, we have an example of our brothers, Moses and the high priest, Father, they all did this, this walk on this earth, Father, and they pleased you, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Father, that you give us that gift, that bestowment to please you. And do things that are pleasing in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. The Bible says, what and whatever we ask, we shall receive of him because we keep his commandment. We are going to ask the Lord, Father, help us to keep your commandment. So whatever we ask, we get it in your precious name. Prayers in Jesus' name. Help us to keep your commandments, Lord. So whatever we ask in your name, we receive it. As your word says, because your word is true. From the beginning, it's true and it's settled. Father, help us to keep your commandments. Because we keep your commandments, whatever we ask, we receive it of you. We'll receive it of you. Because, Father God, we are keeping your commandments. We are doing those things that are pleasing to you. So whatever we ask, we will receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask for the souls of men to be saved. Father, we ask for the lost that don't know you. Father, we ask for people who are just feeling, Father, tired. Father, we ask for people who are hurting this month and beyond, Father. We ask on, on, on their behalf, Father, you answer their prayer. In the Because we do those things that are pleasing to you, you are answering our prayer. And our prayers that others are saved to know you as Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen and amen. We are also... I'm going to pray for um, marriages this month and beyond, you know, in our, our in virtuous women in Christ, in our families, um, anyone who have been challenges. We are also going to pray for marriages in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord uh, this month and beyond will restore anything that is broken, 
on the, which the good ones make it better. And, and those who are looking for husbands that God will direct in the right way. Prayers for marriages or impending marriages. Prayers in Jesus' name. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying this month and beyond for marriages, God-given marriages. Father God, or those who are looking to have marriages, Father God, we pray your blessing, oh God, on those marriages that are good. Father, we pray, Father God, your intervention on those marriages that need help and have challenges. Father, restore what is broken, fix, oh God, and restore it. In the name of Jesus, we ask these mercies. Father, that person who's going through challenges right now, don't know how. Ah, nobody knows what is going on. I don't know. Father God, in his spirit of divorce, in his spirit of hurt, in his spirit, Father, put division in the marriage, Father God. Father, we, 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 we curse that, that, that spirit of divorce in the name of Jesus, Father God. We speak life into marriages, Father. We speak life in the name of Jesus. This month and beyond, purchase human in Christ, Father God, all our associates and Father, our sisters and brothers, Father God, will have, having challenges in their marriages, Father, will be encouraged right now, this month and beyond, as we are committing and recommitting ourselves every month to you, into your able hand, that you take control of every part, Lord, take control of every marriage, the good ones, the, 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 that can be better, but are the, those that are terrible, uh, that can be good, but are those that are impending and want to get married, but direct our steps in your word. Direct our steps everywhere. Holy Spirit, you are wonderful. You are excellent. We appreciate you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Father. Remember those, Father, even the ministers who are having challenges in their marriages. Father, remember them also, oh God. They cannot speak to anybody. They feel anybody will come and put their little stuff out there. But I remember the, the ministers of God are having challenges. Father God, keep them clean and keep them spotless and holy. Father God, pull them back wherever the enemy have let a snare or trap for them. Father, because of your love, we are interceding for others. Give them peace and let give you praise. In their home, Jesus. We are also going to pray for our young people this month and beyond that God will inoculate them. You see, many uh, uh, revivals started with young people. And God just, uh, somebody who prayed for young people and uh, to come to know Jesus. And there was a, a resurgence, uh, you know, of, of young people coming to Christ. So right now we are going to pray in the mighty name of Jesus that uh, for our young people, that they will get a, a new love, a new taste, because people like fashion. And God will, instead of fashion of this world, God will make it fashion of heaven and to be permanent. Let them come to Jesus. Prayers for our young people to know Jesus as Lord and stay in that will in Jesus' name. Prayers. Mm -hmm. Father, we are oh, Lord, praying this Father, month and beyond. Father, Jesus, Father, as we are committing this month to you, Father, we are committing all the young people all over the world to you. Father, that they will find joy. It's not fashion of this world. Joy in your word. Joy in coming to know you. Let them know that sweetness, that sugar, it is there. It is there. Father, it is there. Father, we are appealing to you that you sweeten the hearts of our young people to know that heaven's sweetness is there, the sweetness in finding the joy of the Lord. Father, we pray for the young people to know you as Lord, to come to you and say, Jesus is my Savior. Father, that they will repent of all their sins. Father, God, that they live a life that is holy. Father, we pray for the young people. Father, God, that they will be drawn to you like a magnet, oh God, spiritual magnet. Father, I pray for the young people that you are are seeking and they don't know what they are looking for. Father, let them know it is Jesus. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. Father, I pray that the young people, Father, God, all over the world, and our families, Father, will have a, a, a liking and be drawn to you. My Lord, my Father, that others will see and come to know you as Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the Father, mighty and precious name of Jesus, we pray. And anything that destroy the youth in Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. We are saying one more prayer for our time is running. For those in prisons this month and beyond, because sometimes they feel forgotten. Maybe they will hear see that message on YouTube or somewhere. We want to remember them. Those are in prisons. Um, whether it's physical prisons or spiritual prisons, that God will deliver them and show him his love. 
prayers for those in prison. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, Jesus, we are praying Father, for the prison. Father, we pray for those in prison. Father, whether spiritual or physical prison, financial prison, emotional prison, Father, whatever prison, prison, prison that your children that, 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 that right now, Father, enemy have put your children, your children, Father, Father, that you will release, Father, your children that have held bound by sin, by sin, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, all those are in prison, Father, those are going to church and they cannot even speak to anybody. They may be in a physical prison where they have been taken advantage of, Father, deliver them by your mind. Jesus, my father, deliver them and bring them to Jesus. Jesus. Everywhere, Father, they have been Oh, Lord, my father, my Jesus, bring them to Jesus. Father, cover them with a shadow there, as you did in the Old Testament. Father, reveal children of Israel. Father, I am afraid. 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 Father, I am afraid.